I'm going to just do a quick review of the bug track operating system. This is bug track 2 Black Widow. Um, the coolest thing about bug track um, is that it comes with like um, it's like some pretty cool it comes with like botnets, viruses, Trojan horses, some backdoor stuff. Comes with Kirkcat, Netcat, um, just stuff like that. <clears throat> Web vulnerability scanners, vulnerability detection. We've got Metasploit, good old standby. Um, I don't know, it just comes with a lot of tools. It's, it's a little bit different from, like, say, the Kali toolkit. Um, it's got stuff that Kali doesn't have. Kali's got stuff that this doesn't have, but it, it's, it's pretty fucking cool. Um, so it's like a second. And this whole malware laboratories thing is just, like, pretty fucking smooth. The um, thing that sucks about Bug Track is it... Uh, doesn't have a lot of support in uh, English, and uh, what's going on there? Doesn't have a whole lot of support in English, and uh, it just uh, you know generally it, it's it's kind of difficult to install. There's a part at the beginning with the. Uh, the, you have to select the keyboard, you have to find the keyboard that's most like the one that's on your computer, select the language. It's kind of confusing. I, I fucked it up a couple times. I installed it in some language that I, I really didn't know. Um, which I thought the keyboard layout was going to be the same as English. It's not the same. Uh, so it's kind of a pain in the ass to get installed, but once you get it installed, it's actually pretty good operating system. Um, I have the Debian based version. There's a there's a SUSE based version and then there's also the uh, the Ubuntu based version. I don't really advise the Ubuntu. Um, just I don't know if you're gonna do it, just get the Debian version because it's gonna have more Debian has more upstream support than Ubuntu. Um, it's pretty much plain and simple, so that's that's my take on that. Uh, that's about it.